freedom will shout with all our might. We'll spoke to the Hun with Johnny Get Your Gun, or there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. This morning I met a Canadian, his arm blown to a rag, singing, smile and pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. The Guinness is coming down. Well, if he's landed, here he is now. Get the trap off. Give him a lift. I'm your husband, Murphy. His left leg is broken. Ow! His right arm is gone and fairly... Ah, don't touch me. And one of me eyes is gouged out. But I'd be all right by the morning. <laughs> <laughs> concerning the depth of Hindenburg's brutality. Bonds by bullets, by liberty bonds. Almighty God! Right, truth, justice, freedom and democracy. No indemnities and no annexations. Golden voice of Caruso swells in victory song to crowds and streets. Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. They keep on the run, on the run, on the run. The other calling you and me, every time. Pack your little shit, show your grip, do your bit. The Yankees know the rank from the south and the tank. Make your mother proud of you. Awake no deep response in me, for though his grave I may not see, my son will ne'er forgotten be, my real son can never die, tis but his body that may lie in foreign lands, but I will keep remembrance on forever, deep within my heart of my real son, 
because of triumph he has won. It matters not where one may lie and sleep when work is done. It matters not where some light must give. Hosanna's oh, loud I'll sing for him. He know my eyes with tears begin. And when his vacant place I see, my heart will bound with joy that he was mine so long. My fair young son, and here for him, whose work is done. Over there, over there, send the word, send the word over there, that the Sammies are coming, the Sammies are coming, the drum drum coming everywhere. Michel Bellow Wood. Lutish. Please bang. Four nine. Did I? Potato Master. Mark five. The seventy five. Your poor. Galicia. Give me a ring. Chemin de Fer. Frieden Sturm. Gallipoli. Force. The Compiègne.
Goodbye, Billy. If you're looking for your sweethearts, we know where they are, hanging on the old barbed wire. If you want the old battalion, we know where they are, hanging on the old barbed wire. Hostilities will cease at 11 hours today, November 11th. Troops will stand fast on the line reached at that hour, which will be reported by wire to advance GHQ. Defense precautions will be maintained. There will be no intercourse of any description with the enemy until receipt of instructions from GHQ. My countrymen, there grows on me the realization of the unusual character of this occasion. Our Republic has been at war before. It has asked and received the supreme sacrifices of its sons and daughters, and faith in America has been justified. Many sons and daughters made the sublime offering and went to hell at graves as the nation's defenders. But we never before sent so many to battle under the flag in a foreign land. Never before was there the impressive spectacle of thousands of dead returned to find eternal resting place in the beloved homeland. The incident is without parallel in the history that I know. These dead know nothing of our ceremonies today. They sense nothing of the sentiment or the tenderness which brings their wasted bodies to the homeland for burial, close to kin and friends. In the tar paper morgue at chalon sur marne in the reek of chloride of lime and the dead, they picked out the pine box that held all that was left of Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Mo. Plenty other pine boxes stacked up there containing what they'd scraped up of Richard Rowe and other person or persons unknown. Only one can go. How did they pick John Doe? Make sure he ain't a jig, boys. Make sure he ain't a guinea or a kike. How can you tell a guy's a hundred percent when all you've got's a gunny sack full of bones, bronze buttons stamped with a screaming eagle, and a pair of rolled fatigues? gagging chloride and the pukey dirt stench of the year-old dead. I find a hundred thousand sorrows touching my heart. There's ringing in my ears like an admonition eternal, an insistent call. It must not be again. It must not be again. God grant that it will not be. The blood ran into the ground brains oozed out of the cracked skull and were licked up by the trench rats. The belly swelled and raised a generation of blue bottle flies. And the incorruptible skeleton and the scraps of dried viscera and skin bundled in khaki. They took to chalon sur marne and laid it out in a pine coffin and took it home to God's country on a battleship and buried it in a sarcophagus in the Memorial Amphitheater in the Arlington National Cemetery and draped the old glory over it when the bugler played taps. And Mr. Harding prayed to God and the diplomats and the generals and the admirals and the brass hats and the politicians and the handsomely dressed ladies out of the society column of the Washington Post stood up solemn and thought how beautiful, sad, old glory God's country it was to have the bugler play taps and the three volleys made their ears ring. Where his chest ought to have been, they pinned the Congressional Medal, the DSC, the Médaille Militaire, the Belgian Croix de Guerre, the Italian Gold Medal, the Vitutea Militaria sent by Queen Marie of Romania, the Czechoslovak War Cross, the Virtuti Militari of the Poles, a wreath sent by Hamilton Fish, Jr. of New York, 
and a little wampum presented by a deputation of Arizona Redskins in war paint and feathers. All the Washingtonians brought flowers. Woodrow Wilson brought a bouquet of poppies. Here, dead we lie, because we did not choose to live, and shame the land from which we sprung. Life, to be sure, is nothing much to lose, but young men think it is, and we were young. <laughs> 